Hi, I'm Tyler Simone, and this is the Happily Self-Conscious Podcast, the show where it's cool to be self-conscious. As a personal development enthusiast, I love to learn how I can become better in all areas of life, and I want to share with you transformative tips and tricks to help you also become your best self. Together, we'll learn how we can become more self-conscious. Let's do it. Hello there. Welcome to episode number 11 of the Happily Self-Conscious Podcast. So good to have you here yet again for another episode. If this is your very first time tuning in, big, huge welcome to you. This week's episode is actually a little bit different. I sat down to write out some bullet points for this episode like I normally do, and I decided Instead of going about the episodes how I have been, I just wanted to be very candid and honest with you in this one. Not that I'm not always honest, but I wanted to let you in on how I've been feeling lately because I've been in a little bit of a tough place. I'm feeling kind of emotional. I'm reflecting a lot more there's tears. You know what I mean? (laughs) I really want to talk about grace, actually. Having grace for yourself because having grace has been a running theme for me lately. I have been having a little bit of a rough time just getting through the days, staying focused, and honestly accepting where I am. I have these really, really great days where I'm just twirling around the house, having a great time, you know, dancing around, I'm enjoying life. And then I have these days where I feel alone and I feel left behind for some reason. And I can't quite put my finger on why, because at the same time, I know that I'm progressing and I'm growing. Have you ever felt like that? It's it's a strange feeling. And I'm really just trying to figure out where these thoughts and these feelings are coming from. So with all of that being said, I am absolutely in a season where I have to be proactive about giving myself more grace and not being so hard on myself. So I thought it was the perfect time to talk about grace and what it means to give ourselves grace. When we give ourselves grace, we are giving ourselves permission to let ourselves off the hook, so to speak, to give ourselves the benefit of the doubt and to forgive. Giving grace is to remember that no one is perfect and to be okay with that. I've had to remind myself recently that it's okay to have days that are a little bit slower or days where I'm not feeling 100%. And it's strange because I know that, you know, deep down, I know that every day may not be spectacular and some days are harder than others. So when I get into these moods where I'm expecting 100%, when all I have is 45% to give, I'm having to calm myself down and give myself grace, you know, Speaking of having to calm myself down, oh my goodness, this past weekend, I was attacked. I was bombarded with emotions. I was all over the place. (laughs) It's a lot. Okay, buckle up. So for one, for whatever reason, I was questioning my worthiness because I'm not engaged and I'm not married. And it seems like everyone around me in this world is at this moment. (laughs) And I know that's not true, but see, this is, I don't know where these thoughts come from. I started thinking about how I'm failing in life because I've never traveled anywhere. I felt like I'm not working hard enough when it comes to being on social media and growing an audience. And then I became sad when I realized that I barely have enough energy to do what I do now with my nine to five and the podcast and mentoring and other things that I'm working on. So the tears, the tears, they were just flowing nonstop. 
I was clearly going through it. And then at some point I started reflecting on my past relationships. I knew it was time to bring the special forces at that point, AKA my friends, okay? We had to put a stop to this. If you've ever had one of these moments, you know exactly what it feels like. It all starts with one thought and then another one. And the next thing you know, you're in a full-blown spiral of emotions. But luckily I made it out. Barely. I mean, it was a close one. The crying was definitely therapeutic and much needed, but it was not fun. And once again, the ending result was me just giving myself grace and reminding myself that I'm doing just fine. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. I'm not failing at anything. Everyone has their own path and this is my path. All I can do is continue to stay grateful and focus on myself. One thing I really love is a new journal. There's nothing like cracking open a brand new one to start writing down the goals you have for yourself. Love It Planners has super cute journals, vision board kits, planners, and principles that were created just for you to give you the motivation you need to make your dreams a reality. I write in my manifestation journal every morning to keep my goals in mind. It's helped keep me on track and to ignite more motivation in me to make those goals happen for myself. You can click my link down below in the show notes to receive 15% off your order today. Start making your goals your reality with Love It Planners. Now, back to the show. In that moment, I had to stop criticizing myself and allow myself to just be. That is grace. When we allow our emotions to just be instead of judging them or feeling ashamed for even having them, We're giving ourselves grace. When you think about it, it's actually pretty wild that we can allow someone else to go through their negative emotions. We just kind of chalk it up to them having a bad day. But when it comes to our bad days, we can sometimes make it worse by judging our feelings. Giving myself grace in these moments has allowed certain emotions to come and go a lot smoother and faster because I see them as feelings and not as facts. Instead of judging them, I'm more so open to acknowledge that they're there for whatever reason. And if I'm up for it, I'll look into why I might be having these feelings. Sometimes I'm ready to do that, you know, in the moment. And sometimes I just need a good cry (laughs) and I want to move on. It just depends, really. Grace is non-judgmental. Being judgmental is such a negative thing. And when you're being judgmental about yourself, that is so stressful. So when you offer grace to yourself, you're actually reducing your stress and your anxiety, which allows you to stay more clear minded so that you can make better choices for yourself. And you can move through those tough times a lot easier because you are at ease. I've never claimed to be a perfectionist because I know that perfection doesn't exist. But lately, I'm having to work really hard to remember that it's okay that I don't have every answer and that I have bad days, quote unquote bad. I do make mistakes and I still have things to learn. I still have growing to do to become a better person. I'm not always going to have it all together. And I think that Believing that you do have to have it all together all of the time is believing that perfection exists and that's just not true. I have to be okay with the moments where I need assistance and a pep talk because those days do come. So despite the morning routine and the journaling and the meditations and the self-help books, I have these days where I just feel helpless, honestly. And that can feel really odd because I'm thinking, I know what to do to fix this downward spiral that I'm having. I know that these are just feelings and they're not facts. And I know that this moment will pass, but sometimes those emotions, they just take over completely. But that's what giving yourself grace is all about. It's okay to fall apart and to ask for help 
It's okay to not have the answer or to cry or to sit in your emotions for a bit. You sort of have to, honestly. And I really try not to brush past my feelings, even if they're uncomfortable, because when you do that, they grow and grow and it can get really ugly. I think that giving grace to other people, you know, within reason is important, but it is just as important to give yourself grace. Don't be so hard on yourself. None of us should be because life is tough and we're all just doing the best that we can with what we have. It's safe to say that I have been feeling a lot of emotions lately, a lot of pressure. And I don't know if it's my age. I don't know if it's just the pressure to be on social media even and the pressure to connect. I don't know if it's just old emotions that are coming to the surface. It may just be hormones. I honestly have a feeling that it's probably a mixture (laughs) of all of those things and more. So this episode felt like an emergency. You know, my original idea for this week's episode went flying out of the window when I had this last emotional breakdown that made me feel like my head was spinning. So I hope that this episode reminds you to give yourself grace in those tough moments. Here are a few graceful reminders for you and for myself in this season. When you don't know what to do have grace. When you feel overwhelmed, give yourself grace. Don't feel obligated to have it all together all the time. Perfection doesn't exist and feeling like you need to have it all together all the time is a way of striving for perfection. You'll never get there and that's okay. Allow yourself to have off days or days where you may not have 100% to give, that is normal. We cannot operate at 100% all day, every day. Being tired doesn't mean you're failing. (laughs) This one is definitely for me. Being tired is normal. Go lay down and take a nap and don't feel bad about it. And if you need someone to lean on, make the call. Don't try to push through the tough times on your own if you don't have to. Making that choice to lean on someone else is a form of giving yourself grace. And for today's quote, patience and kindness are the seeds that enable grace to grow. Thank you so, so much for tuning into this episode. It was it was a fun one, and I'm really glad that I decided to go with my gut and discuss grace because it's such a great topic, and it's something we can all do more of. So if you enjoyed this episode, I would be so appreciative if you left a review, which helps other people who are on their personal development journey find this podcast. Don't forget to click follow so that you don't miss future episodes. There are so many more to come. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to click the follow button so you don't miss future episodes. And if you see another one on the list that you think looks interesting, take a listen or just download it for later. I'll see you next time.